All right, so I just want to take a, a moment to do a video about uh, the PA midterm election here in Pennsylvania. Um, we had some big wins. We had John Fetterman winning the Senate seat, the open Senate seat against Dr. Mehmet Oz. And we had uh, Josh Shapiro win against uh, right-wing extremist Doug Mastriano. And both those candidates were Trump candidates. Um, Dr. Oz has conceded. Uh, I think John Fetterman won by approximately 250,000 votes. Um, and I believe Josh Shapiro uh, won by 700,000 votes approximately. Um, so comfortable margins, no need for recounts or... You know, uh, there, there's nothing even close here that could indicate, you know, runoff elections, uh, you know, mandatory recounts and all that stuff. You know, 250,000 and 700,000 votes, respectively, it, it's pretty clear, right? So Dr. Oz did concede, and rather soon, and I want to give him credit for that, uh, because being a trump back candidate, you know, you kind of expect it. And that leads me to the to the point of this video is Doug Mastriano, the guy Josh Shapiro beat for the governor of Pennsylvania, has not conceded yet. So there's definitely some red flags here. But at the same time, Doug Mastriano said, I won't concede until every vote is counted. So. I'm going to give him grace on a technicality because I believe that too. Okay. No matter who you are, we want every vote counted. So he does get some grace here on a technicality. My question is what's going to happen once that final vote is counted? What's going to happen then? Is he going to concede? Because once again, Doug Mastriano is a far right extremist candidate. Trump backed. Doug Mastriano was at the Capitol on January 6th, and he even had people bust in. Okay. And who knows the extent uh, of, of his involvement beyond that? We I don't know. Um, it, was he involved with the Proud Boys? Was he involved with Oath Keepers? Was he involved with right wing paramilitary outfits there to overthrow the government? Because he's a military guy himself. Did he have fingers in those pies uh, and whatnot? Who knows? Okay. So I have a lot of, uh, you know, valid concern here, as most of you do too. Is this guy going to concede once that election, the final vote has been uh, counted? And once again, guys, he's down 700,000 votes right now. Literally, most people in his spot would have conceded the day of the election. But there's mail-in ballots. Uh, there's, you know, still votes to be counted. I think there's uh, it's above 95%. There's no way they're going to find 700,000 votes for Mestriano with 5% left. I mean, it's just, th this is common sense stuff in the voting world. And... Okay. Every vote until every vote is counted. Okay. And if he doesn't, then he is going to set the president at the governorship level that Donald Trump set at the executive branch level to doubt all elections that you don't win. So we're, we're looking at a potential new precedent at the governorship level here to be led by someone who is a far right extremist by the name of Doug Mastriano. This has me concerned. I want you guys to follow, follow this story um, because we're going to be covering it here. Um, I just don't trust this guy. <laughs> like, I really don't. And, and, and I have no reason to, um, but this guy should have conceded the day of the election. 700,000 votes, you're not going to make that up. It, it, it's, it's statistically improbable. It, it, this is like power and powerball odds territory here. It just ain't going to happen. You can buy a ticket. You can buy as many tickets as you want. It's not going to happen. Right? Um, but just keep an eye on this story, and let's see if he concedes.